everybody, Realm Builder Guy here, and welcome back to the channel. And a new guide, a little bit something new and different that I'll be doing here and reviewing five mods that I really like, that uh, I use quite regularly when I play games, including on my current uh, Twitch series. You can check that out, unless, of course, you're looking, watching this months, in advance, uh, months later, then who knows. But right now, in April, of 2021 these are five mods that i recommend people check out and try out now remember they are mods so they're not a hundred percent perfect all the time if you do encounter anything leave them a nice comment on steam and uh, make some suggestions as to tweaks or improvements they can make because you can't forget these are people offering a lot of hours of their personal time for love and dedication to this game that we love and they are doing it all for free. So any positive feedback and positive critique in the sense of, hey, maybe you try this or the, I found something here, but doing it nicely is always greatly appreciated. Also greatly appreciated are all the likes, of course, here on this video and all videos. If you do end up liking this video, hitting the like button definitely helps. And subscribing is also something I would recommend if you are not yet subscribed, which YouTube Analytics tells me most people are not. <laughs> if you are one of those uh, subscribing, we'll make sure that you don't miss out on any Crusader Kings 3 content or any other game content here on the channel. So, now that all that is out of the way, let's dive into a few of these mods and we're going to start with mod number one. Now this first mod is really essential, especially for me and anybody that creates content just because of all the cool screenshots you can create with it. But even that, even beyond that, just some of the stuff you can do with it. And that of course is, well, the full screen barbershop. Uh, this is one that I highly recommend. You have it now in full glory. Of course you can then hide the controls and take your screenshots in multiple poses you can move these guys around you can add a spouse to it as well and move them around a little bit to take a look at each other uh, different poses depending on what you kind of want to do uh, if we just look at him now as a chancellor and then you can change the different clothes as well just kind of mess around and then if you hit apply changes well there you go you are now in that pose and she has a dagger, which of course looks fantastic. So this is just one that I recommend that I always use, unless of course I'm going for an Iron Man achievement. Some of these are Iron Man compatible, some are not. I forget honestly which ones are or aren't. Usually I play 100% without any mods if I am going for any type of Iron Man achievement. But most of the time, I'm not going for achievements, so that's when I use these mods. Now, along with the full screen barbershop, we're going to take a look at another one that I really, really love, and that is the Community Flavor Pack. Now, with the Community Flavor Pack, let's stay with our buddy here, and let's change him just back to default, is you can change a lot of different things. And you can see these are kind of the standard clothing options you have. Well, now you can go to here. You can see the little flavor pack icons here. You've got multiple different options. Teutonic Order, Order of Santiago. Santiago, you've got, uh, let's see, let's give them a Venetian Doge robe. And then we go to headwear. There are just so many different options that you could pick here. Yeah, I think that looks good. I think that's a, that's a good look there. Hair-wise... Uh, well, you can't really see that, but we'll do a go with a ruse with the ruse here uh, and go all the way back up to default. You can see that very fetching head uh, <laughs> hair right there. And then you can do mutton chops. Let's do an imperial mustache. So here we will just go to that circlet. Look how fantastic he looks. I mean, that's just, that is just, just amazing. Let's uh, then give him... Oh, an ermine royal cloak or a Byzantine cloak there. I think that's uh, very stylish. Very stylish indeed. Legwear, you've got things you can add. Other accessories like Slavic earrings. On the hands, you can give them uh, high nobility 
gloves as well, and then you can add different necklaces. I just think that looks fantastic. And hitting apply changes, I mean, he just looks... That is that is how Duke Vratislav of Bohemia should look. So again, that is the Community Flavor Pack. The full screen barbershop and Community Flavor Pack are, of course, updated now for the 1.3 version. The next graphic I want to talk about is also, or the next graphic, the next mod is also updated. And that is the More Holding Graphics. So the More Holding Graphics adds a number of different graphics to the game just to make it look more historically accurate. Uh, what they say, this mod adds new holding pictures to the game so you can experience more diversity and immersion during your gameplay. So you've got new Catholic and Orthodox temples, new mosque for uh, Berber cultures, and so many more things. On top of that, if we go, for instance, uh, let's go down here to Notgau and look at the countryside, new castles, new German castles and villages. Uh, that you can choose from. You can also scroll all the way out. Let's go down here into the countryside. And there you've got a new castle holding, for instance, here. So kind of a Romanian looking castle. It doesn't change gameplay. It adds flavor and historical flavor to it. And that's the same thing I would say about uh, combining the full screen barbershop and the community flavor pack into one. It just adds more historical flavor to the game it gives me more immersion and enjoyment of the game as well he just looks fantastic um but uh, beyond that it, it it helps you i guess have less generic and more specific look and feel to your game now this next one has not yet been updated for 1.3 but i still want to mention it because hopefully they will updated and that is the buildings mod now the buildings mod is a mod that i talked about in my unique buildings guide you can check that out here and it adds a few new buildings in it so in this the last version you had the Uppsala cathedral mont saint michel lac abbey saint clement assen fortress on top of that uh suggested buildings that they were still adding was the city of birka uh, Basilica of the Assumption, and a few more. There is a conflict with the more unique buildings mod, which is an older mod. My hope is that either the more unique buildings mod or the buildings mod will be updated. I used it previously quite often just because it adds more buildings to the game, which of course makes for a more interesting gameplay because it adds more historical flavor to it. Now, the next one I'm going to talk about is uh, one that I was uh, alerted to by one of the members in the Realm Builder Discord. Link down in the description. You can check that out. And he is the creator of the TIP, or TIP, Volume 2 mod. So this is like an ultimal, ultimal? Yeah, ultimate history type mod and what it does it adds so much more historical accuracy and flavor to the game you can see right here you have instead of angria you have saxony right away there are new coats of arms uh, you've got the ability to create the baltic empire the kingdoms of iceland the isles the saxon kingdom and the vandal kingdom as well you've got new duchies like strathclyde francia as well new counties he put in or his the whole team put in as well as new religions like hussitism as an example uh and arianism and a bunch of other ones that putting it in there with new nicknames new coats of arms uh then you've got the breton invasion of uh the contentin in 867 as a new war that comes in so in his hundreds of new historical characters just to kind of alleviate some of the ahistorical things you do encounter in Crusader Kings 3. Now, I, of course, make a lot of guides about interesting starts that are based on history, and I do encounter some historical issues that this mod does alleviate. And let me show you one right now that I talked about in my Byzantine Empire 867 guide. 
So here you have the uh, emperor, emperor of the Byzantine Empire, Michael III, the drunkard. So in the standard game, it is Basil. Now, as I mentioned, Basil only kills Michael III in September of 867. In the standard game, Basil is already the emperor in January of 867, but Basil is in the game right here in the Duchy of Philippopolis as uh, Basileos, the Macedonian of the House Macedon, with a claim, a pressed claim, on the Byzantine Empire. So you can definitely play as him and add more flavor to a start in 867 to try to overthrow Michael. The other thing that's been added, which is really cool, is right here in Laconia, you have a Hellenic, so an unreformed Greco-Roman faith in Laconia at, with the house Maniatis. And historically, there were still people at around this time that believed in the old Hellenic faith in Laconia, so in Sparta. Speaking of Sparta, you can also check out my Imperator Rome Sparta series. A little shameless plug there. So anyway, uh, you have a Hellenic character here. So for all of you that kind of want to bring back the old Athens or Greek empires with Hellenic um, religion, well, you already have one in the game, so you don't have to reform to that because that is based on real history. There are a bunch of other things that he's done throughout, or the whole team has done throughout this game, with new cultural men-at-arms added, new innovations, new cultures, new decisions, new nicknames, new holy orders, new custom localization culture titles, improved names lists for numerous cultures, and updated several religions, also with uh, bug fixes, feudal elective succession for the Byzantine Empire, and male-only succession in Navarre, because that was historically accurate. So all those things have been added to the game. It is also updated for the 1.3 version of Crusader Kings 3, and it is one that I am currently utilizing on my Twitch series. You can stop by there, twitch.tv slash realmbuilder, where I stream Tuesdays and Fridays, most weeks. And right now it is Crusader Kings 3, and you can see some of the changes there. For instance, one of them, I am, uh, at the time of this recording, going to war with the Duchy of Saxony, which normally would be the Angrians in the game. But Saxony is the more, let's say, historic term for that territory. So it's just something to keep in mind. But uh, yeah, there you go. The TIP, or TIP, Volume 2 Mod. So that covers five essential fun mods that I recommend you check out to add some more flavor and depth to your next Crusader Kings 3 playthrough. I don't know how they are in terms of save game compatibility. I would assume the community flavor pack and uh, full screen barbershop, that's no issue at all. Buildings mod, obviously the tip volume two mod, I would assume are, you need to start a new campaign. I don't know about more holding graphics. Personally, you can check those out. The links to all five of these mods you can find down in the description. Let me know in the comments if you use any of these mods, as well as other mods that you recommend to other viewers, to other players, and to myself to go check out. So until next time, I'm Realm Builder Guy, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.